आई एम डॉक्टर गिरीश राय सिंगानी एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी एस पी सी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज अजमेर इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ बायो जियो केमिकल साइकिल्स वी आर डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वाटर साइकिल एंड द कार्बन साइकिल नाउ इन दिस पार्ट टू वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट नाइट्रोजन साइकिल सल्फर साइकिल एंड द फॉस्फोरस साइकिल नाइट्रोजन साइकिल ऑल द एलिमेंट्स विच प्लांट्स एब्जॉर्ब फ्रॉम द सॉयल नाइट्रोजन इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर प्लांट ग्रोथ दिस रिक्वायर्ड इन दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड इन ग्रेटेस्ट क्वान्टिटी नाइट्रोजन साइकिल कंसिस्ट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेप्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन वॉट इज नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन इट इज़ द कन्वर्जन ऑफ फ्री नाइट्रोजन ऑफ एटमोसफियर इन टू द बायोलॉजिकली एक्सेप्टेबल फॉर्म और नाइट्रोजीनियस कंपाउंड टू एज नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन दिस प्रोसेस इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन फिजियो केमिकल और नॉन बायोलॉजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन एंड द अदर इज बायोलॉजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन इन फिजियो केमिकल प्रोसेस ऑफ नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन ऑफ एटमोसफेरिक नाइट्रोजन कंबाइंस विथ ऑक्सीजन एज ओजोन ड्यूरिंग द लाइटनिंग और इलेक्ट्रिकल डिस्चार्जेस इन द क्लाउड्स एंड प्रोड्यूस डिफरेंट नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड्स दीज नाइट्रोजन ऑक्साइड्स गेट डिजॉल्व इन रेन वाटर एंड ऑन रीचिंग अर्थ सर्फेस दे रिएक्ट विथ मिनरल कंपाउंड्स टू फॉर्म नाइट्रेट्स एंड दियर नाइट्रोजीनियस कंपाउंड्स ड्यूरिंग कंबर्शन ऑफ वेरियस टाइप्स सम नाइट्रोजीनियस कंपाउंड्स आर फॉर्म्ड विच आर वॉश डाउन अलॉन्ग विथ रेन वाटर बायोलॉजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन इज कैरिड आउट बाय सर्टन प्रो कैरियॉर्स सम ब्लू ग्रीन एलगी फिक्स सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इन ओशन लेक्स एंड सॉइल्स सिम्बैटिक बैक्टीरिया इनहेबिटिंग द रूट नोड्यूस ऑफ लेग्यूम्स एंड अ नंबर ऑफ अदर नॉन लेग्यूमिनस जेनरा एंड सिम्बैटिक ब्लू ग्रीन एलगी found in free stage or in thallae of anthocyros salvinia azola coralloid coralloid roots of cycas fix atmospheric nitrogen nitrogen assimilation in our inorganic nitrogen in the form of nitrates nitrates and ammonia is absorbed by the green plants and converted into nitrogenous organic compounds animals derive their nitrogen requirement from the plant proteins third point is ammonification the dead organic remains of plants and animals excreta of animals are acted upon by number of microorganisms especially actinomycetes and bacilli bacillus ramosus bacilli vulgaris these organisms utilize organic compounds in their metabolism and release ammonia fourth is nitrification certain bacteria such as nitrosomonas nitrococcus and nitrospira in oceans and soils convert ammonia into nitrites and then nitrites into nitrates these bacteria primarily use the energy of dead organic matter in their metabolism fifth point is denitrification ammonia and nitrates are converted into free nitrogen by certain microbes this process is referred to as denitrification now if we talk about impact of human activities on nitrogen cycle we add large amount of nitric oxide into the atmosphere by burning any fuel at high temperatures which helps nitrogen and oxygen to combine in the atmosphere no can be converted into no2 that is nitrite gas and hno3 nitric acid which returns to the earth's surface as damaging acid rains we add n2o2 atmosphere through the action of aerob anaerobic bacteria on livestock waste and commercial inorganic fertilizers applied to the soil this gas can warm the atmosphere and deplete ozone in the stratosphere we release large amounts of nitrogen stored in soils and plants as gaseous compounds into the troposphere through destruction of forests grasslands and wastelands we impair aquatic ecosystems by adding excess nitrates in agricultural runoff and discharges from municipal sewage systems next is the sulfur cycle sulfur cycle links soil water and air sulfur occurs in soil and rocks as sulfides ferrous sulfide zinc sulfide etc and crystalline sulfides In the atmosphere, sulfur occurs in the forms of SO2 and H2S. 
SO2 gas is formed during combustion of fossil fuels or as a result of decomposition. H2S or hydrogen sulfide gas is released to atmosphere from water locked soils. Continental shelf shakes, lakes and springs. The organic and inorganic sulfur and SO2 are formed through oxidation of H2S in atmosphere. A small amount of sulfur occurs in dissolved state in rain water and through rain it reaches earth's surface. Most of the biologically incorporated sulfur is produced in the soil from aerobic breakdown of proteins by bacteria and fungi. Green and purple photosynthetic bacteria use hydrogen of H2S as an oxygen acceptor in reduce, reducing carbon dioxide. Green bacteria are able to oxidize sulfide to elemental sulfur, sulfur whereas the purple bacteria can carry oxidation to sulfate state. In the ecosystem, sulfur is transferred from autotrophs to animals, then to decomposers and finally it returns to the environment through death and decay of dead organic remains. Now if we uh, talk about human impact of uh, uh, human activity, impact of human activities on sulfur cycle, uh, we can say that we burn sulfur containing coal and oil to produce electric power. We refine sulfur containing petroleum to make gasoline, heating oil, etc. We convert sulfur containing metallic mineral ores into free metals such as copper, lead and zinc that releases large amounts of SO2 in the environment. Next is the phosphorus cycle. Plants and animals obtain phosphorus from the environment. Phosphorus is a component of nucleic acids, ADP, ATP, NADP, phospholipids, etc. It occurs in the soil as rock phosphate, apatite or calcium phosphate, fluoroapatite, iron phosphate and aluminium phosphate. Soils derived from the rock beds rich in phosphates are rich in phosphorus. The dissolved phosphorus is absorbed by plants and converted to organic form. From plant it travels to various trophic levels in the form of organic phosphates. When the plants and animals die, the decomposers attack them and liberate phosphorus to the environment. Thus, this process proceeds in cyclic way. Phosphorus along with the many other mineral elements reaches the oceans and settles down as sediment. A good proportion of phosphorus leaches down the deep layers of the soil. Now there are some facts about the phosphorus cycle. Phosphorus is the scarcest, uh, scarcest and therefore the one of the most limiting in any given ecological system. Much of the phosphorus on earth is tied up in the rock and sedimentary deposits from which it reaches by the weathering, leaching and mining. The phosphate rock is commercially available form is called apatite. Guano is, a, guano is responsible for transferring phosphates from the aquatic communities back to the land. The birds eat aquatic organisms that are floating on the surface of the ocean and once back on the land, the phosphates can be put back into the food web. Impact of human activities on phosphorus cycle. We mine large quantities of, uh, quantities of phosphate rocks to make commercial inorganic fertilizers and detergents. We reduce the available phosphate in soils by cutting down forest. We disrupt aquatic systems with the phosphates from runoff of uh, runoff animal waste and fertilizers and discharges from the sewage treatment systems. Now if we talk about that why we need bio, uh, biogeochemical cycles. So uh, we, uh, in this we can say and there are five points uh, we can discuss that it is uh, required to st for the storage of key elements, it is required to trans uh, for the transport of key elements, to make the key elements available for organisms and to balance the ecosystem and to recycle the energy.